Welcome to all of you. It is a blessing that each of you are here to gather in a good way for this sacred time. I invite us to settle and to open this as a sacred time. Holy God, eternal spirit in which we live and move and have our being, help us to immerse our very beings into your living waters. Help us to open ourselves to the ways your love and your life-giving power flows around us, surrounding us, supporting us, cleansing us, nourishing us filling us, flowing through us, and among us, and beyond us, interweaving us as the streams and the rivers of these sacred lands interweave on their way, trickling and rushing from the mountains and through the plains, through the forests and the farms and the cities and the places of industry drawing from these diverse terrains, shaped by diverse obstacles, flowing and flowing on, these living waters that flow through us, joining us into greater and greater currents, carrying us out beyond into the great oceanic expanse and depth of your being, O Holy One, our God. And in that expanse, in those depths, in that intermingling flow, let us worship you, our dear creator, creator of all. Amen. We welcome you in peace. May you enter this place knowing that God has made you good and worthy of love. May you feel safe to bring your light and your love and your messiness. Use them to bless our sacred gathering. Use them to bless our sacred gathering. May you in turn be blessed here in the presence of the Holy One, our God. Please join me in the statement of identity. We are a congregation of diverse Christian believers. Empowered by love and guided by the Holy Spirit. It is our mission to enable personal spiritual growth, collective outreach to the community, and stewardship of God's creation. We are an open and affirming church. Because of who you are and where you are on life's journey, you are welcome here. You are welcome here. You are welcome here. You are welcome here. Hello, we hope you'll join us, Bill and Jackie and I, in singing this beautiful hymn, Healing Waters.
God cleanse me and purify me, burn me and cleanse me, Lord. Wash over me, Lord, refresh my thirst and soul, for you alone can make me Before the Passover festival began, Jesus knew that the time had come for him to leave the world and go to the Abba God. He had loved those who were his own in the world, and he loved them to the last. The accuser had already put the thought of betraying Jesus into the mind of Judas Iscariot, the son of Simon. And at supper, Although knowing that the Abba had put everything into his hands and that he had come from God and was to return to God, Jesus rose from his place and taking off his upper garments, tied a towel around his waist. He then poured some water into the basin and began to wash the disciples' feet and to wipe them with the towel which was tied around him. When he came to Simon Peter, Peter said, You, Master, are you going to wash my feet? You do not understand now what I am doing, replied Jesus. You will never wash my feet, exclaimed Peter. Unless I wash you, answered Jesus, you have nothing in common with me. Then, Master, not my feet only, exclaimed Simon Peter, but also my hands and my head. He who has bathed, replied Jesus, has no need to wash unless it be his feet, but is altogether clean. And you, he said to the disciples, are clean, yet not all of you. For he knew who was going to betray him, and that was why he said, you are not all clean. When he had washed their feet and had put on his upper garments and had taken his place, he spoke to them again. Do you understand what I have been doing to you, he asked. You yourselves call me the teacher and the master, and you are right, for I am both. If I wash your feet, you also ought to wash one another's feet, for I have given you an example, so that you may do just as I have done to you. John 13, verses 1 through 15. My friends, it has been a hard year, more than a year. You all know that all that you have been journeying through and the ways that it has been hard, and I won't presume to know. But I am sure that we all could use some healing waters. If Jesus right now were to come to you in love and wash your feet, and not only your feet, but your hands and your head too. If Jesus were to come and pour those healing waters over you, over those parts of you that have borne your weight and the weight you carry, those parts of you that have labored and struggled and strived and yearned, these months and year. If Jesus were to wash your feet and your hands and your heads too, and your hearts, what would be released? 
what would be washed away? What names do you give to the dust and mud and calluses and weight and tension that you could release, could surrender to the healing waters? Now, we can't wash each other's feet right now to help each other, as Jesus called us to, to release all that we are naming and will continue to name. But we can wash our hands in our own spaces right now, together, even as we are separate. These days, the, the regular practice of washing our hands has been such an important way of caring for ourselves and caring for each other. And what if we washed our hands as if Jesus were washing our hands, like he washed the disciples' feet? An, an opportunity to be released of those burdens that we can surrender to our Savior. And so I invite us to do that together. We can take some moments now in our own spaces to go and to wash our hands as a ritual act of receiving release, of receiving cleansing, of receiving blessing. And feel free to pray as you need to pray as you wash your hands in this way. And so as you are comfortable, uh, let's take some moments to, to leave our computers and our devices and, and go now in our space and wash our hands as an act of prayer. My friends, through the spirit of the living God in Christ, may the living waters in your home be a blessing to you as they flow. I invite you to pray together the prayer that Jesus taught us, what we call the Lord's Prayer, and to really hear and to feel the spirit of each line in this uh, extraordinary prayer. So let's pray together, my friends. Our Creator, our Father, our Mother, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive those indebted to us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. So, my friends, please go with this blessing. May the deep peace of the running wave be with you. May the deep peace of the cleansing stream be with you. May the deep peace of the still waters be with you. May the deep peace of the great depths be with you. May the deep peace of Christ, of Christ the living waters, be with you. Amen. Amen. Amen.